Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the main reasons to create groupings on the data values within fields is that you can perform summary calculations upon some field for each unique value created in the grouped fields. Since summary calculations are performed over each grouping, they appear in the group footer sections. Note that you do not need to have the report data grouped before you can apply summary fields to the report. If you simply add a summary field to a report that contains no data groupings, what you receive is a grand total field at the very end of the report instead. To insert a summary field into your report, you can either click the Insert Summary button in the Insert toolbar, or you can choose the Insert command and then choose the Summary command from the menu bar. This will launch the Insert Summary dialog box. Use the drop-down at the top of the dialog box to choose which field's values you'd like to calculate over the group. Then use the Calculate This Summary drop-down to choose which calculation to perform over the group. So here we're just counting the employee ID, for example. In the Summary Location section, use the drop-down to choose the grouping over which you want the summary calculation perform. Note that if you needed to create a grouping that you had forgotten, it is even possible to just choose the Insert Group button here to launch the Insert Group dialog where you can actually create the group on the fly if needed. Under the Options section, you can check the Show as a Percentage of checkbox to calculate the percentage total of one group within a larger grouping, such as the grand total, for example. You could then use the drop-down below that checkbox to decide by which of the other available groupings you wish to see the percentage. If you have a hierarchical grouping, you can view an identical summary across the hierarchy subgroupings by checking the Summarize Across Hierarchy checkbox, which is unavailable in this particular scenario. When you're ready, just click OK to insert the summary field into the selected group footer or at the end of the report as a grand total. Notice that you can reposition, resize, and reformat the field as you'd like as long as it remains within the set section. So here we can see the total count of people that are unique employees that are also sales representatives. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.